Welcome to Brendan Davis Travel. In this video, I'll be visiting Mkhubuskloof for a bit of forest birding. But first, I pop into Polokwane Game Reserve to see what it has to offer. Polokwane Game Reserve is only a three hour drive from Johannesburg and offers visitors the opportunity to spot 21 different mammal species, one of them being the threatened white rhino. Well known amongst birders as a great area to find the endemic short clawed lark, it was a good chance to get my eye in and practice spotting some of the bushveld specials before heading through to Mkhubus Cliff. Quite windy here, I've just stopped for a leg stretch in Polokwane Game Reserve. I've been really really impressed by the reserve, the roads are in great condition, quite a variety of wildlife and really really good birding, so yeah, I'll be back here. Alright, so that's the end of Polokwane Game Reserve, a nice quick little two, three hour visit. And now we're gonna hit the road and it's one hour to Mukhubus Cliff.
so good to be back in Makhubas Kluth. Absolutely love this place. I mean, with views like this, there's not much to complain about. Mkhubus Cliff isn't only a premier Afromontane birding destination, it's also got beautiful views, some awesome hikes and mountain bike trails for anybody who enjoys the outdoors. After a great day of birding, it was time to start a fire and sit back and relax. However, Mkhubus Cliff had one more surprise in store before it was time to say goodnight. I heard the call of an African wood owl. With the help of my Lumio Pro headlamp, I spotted this bird for the first time in my life. What a perfect ending to the day. What a morning in Mkhubas Cliff. We've just had an awesome coffee and now it's time to hit the forest.
The owner of this farm built a bird hide with the main goal of attracting green twin spots. The twin spots didn't make an appearance during my time here, but don't worry, Mother Nature definitely did not disappoint. Alright, so we've left the hide and now we're getting into the forest down on the river walk. Yo, um, you can't beat, you can't beat the forest. But I'll say that probably in every single video I ever do about every single area that I'm in. You know, just there's something so special about nature and being able to explore it. After a great morning walk, I return to the house to relax and do some editing. This is Narina Cottage, one of three chalets available at Mkhubuskloof Birders Cottages. I've stayed here multiple times and am always amazed by the comfort and atmosphere that this accommodation provides. I'll put the link to their website in the description below.
rested and keen to get back out there, it was time for an afternoon walk and a final bit of birding before an early departure the next morning. Awesome day here in Mahubas Cliff. Grateful to be able to be out here and grateful to the people that conserve these natural forests. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really goes a long way. Keep well and continue traveling.